Hey everybody, one here from Language Academy, guys. Very, very excited to have Manisha with me today. Triple seven eight in IELTS. That was what she was aiming for, and you have got it today. Very well done. Um, Thank you. I know your story. You have worked hard. You have taken a number of attempts before as well, yes. and you were missing by you know half a band every time. What prompted you to go for co coaching? Because you know you were getting almost seven and eight in all the modules, but you were missing out in one or the other every time. Why you thought I need to go for coach coaching in the first place? Um, so I've been uh, doing this exam since November 2019, mm -hmm. and I wasn't taking coaching at all. Mm -hmm. uh, I had been practicing it by myself every time. So and I was missing every time by half a band in writing. Basically, mm -hmm. I did get it one time in writing uh, the seven, but mm -hmm. again it was missing somewhere else. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, my family still used to tell me that you should go for coaching because uh, that's definitely what you're lacking mm -hmm. at. Mm -hmm. So I decided finally to go for um, the coaching. I saw some reviews about you guys on Facebook and on Google as well. And um, when I came here, like even after doing the exam for nine times, mm. I realized I was doing a very stupid mistake, especially mm. in writing, mm. that I wasn't understanding the question at all. Mm. And Ma'am just told me to follow that basic thing, mm -hmm. and I was like, "That, that yeah, worked it." Yeah. Uh, okay. very important because writing is one section i believe why students don't go for ielts they know yeah. that they can do it in listening reading and speaking but when it comes to writing you really need to write logically and you need to answer the prompt properly writing is one module guys which a lot of students are scared about but what do you think if you get the right strategies how difficult is it it is not difficult at all mm -hmm. once you get the right uh, coaching i would say mm -hmm. so i had been writing good vocabulary good grammar and mm -hmm. everything was all right mm -hmm. but when i came here mm -hmm. and the first class i took with ma'am uh, it was unbelievable that i realized that i wasn't even writing on the topic mm -hmm. so my structure was completely wrong mm -hmm. and i wrote at least 25 essays i remember in the first week mm -hmm. and there was just only one mistake i wasn't writing on the topic mm -hmm. so basically when you write uh, when you just get the question let's say you get the question about environment mm. you just don't have to start writing about the environment mm. that's what i was basically doing looking at the question pollution mm. or health whatever and just i used to start writing about it mm. without even thinking what's the next question mm. so you don't have to just go with the statement mm. of the question you have to read what the uh, question yeah. is demanding so yeah. basically you need to understand what the question is looking, looking for, for yeah. because what happens when we sit for the exam we are very concerned about the time and we want to finish everything as soon as possible very important you take a while understand what the question talks about and answer logically and make sure your structure is proper and you follow all the right strategies and guidance how important are classes when it comes to ielts and what do you think what is important for listening because listening i believe was always your strong point right what do you think what is important for listening um yes it was my uh, strong point but still the strategies i got from ma'am were completely different mm. and after getting those strategies i was sure like i knew after ex every exam that i have got how many right and how many wrong mm. so there are some special tricks and tricks you know need to about listening and reading as well mm. i know practice means a lot mm. but you still need some coaching for those so, as well so basically you need practice but you need to know yeah. how to practice it exactly. right because you practice but if you are just pushing the wall you're not getting any output from it exactly. very important you follow you have the right direction direction is very important you're putting in the hard work but if your direction is not correct you're going to get the same results any final piece of advice as you are looking to migrate to canada as well there are few students out there who are planning to move to canada any advice for them they are really scared about taking ielts exam any advice for them please um to be honest i don't know want to mention the name mm. after taking coach uh, after not taking coaching i uh, for ielts eight times ninth time i did go to some other center and when i the tenth time i came here i realized that there was a lot of difference so i really uh, recommend language academy because not only the administration um, the teacher is not of the best but uh, they motivate you as well and it's not just about you know uh, getting yeah. money from people yeah. every time so this is one thing i love about language academy that they think about students that we are spending a lot of money yeah. so they uh, make sure that we are doing the right thing and uh, absolutely the teacher put like 500% on me not even 100% so they put 500% on me along with that Yes, it's not easy to get it in one go. The score I needed now, I got mm. it five years back mm. in fifteen days of coaching. Mm. But it became very difficult now. There can be different circumstances, right. and you you're not in uh, with that much touch of English, you know. Mm -hmm. 
So um, yes, um, after coaching, I was hundred percent confident, and mm. I'm so happy. This is the last time I got that's it. That's yeah. good. That's good. Congratulations, all the best. Thank you so much. Um, one thing which I take out of her journey is to make sure that you have the right direction. Direction is very Definitely. important because if I talk about your skills, it's not like you learn something new when it comes to language. Not at all. Right? But at you all. learn something new when it comes to the exam. Exactly. So very important. You know what the exam is looking for. What is the marking criteria? And what are the areas you need to hit? If you hit the right areas on which you are going to be marked, you are going to get your desired score. Doesn't matter if it's your PT exam or IELTS exam. All the very best, Manisha. Thank you so Congratulations much. Congratulations once again, guys. Make sure if you are looking for IELTS or PT, you follow the right direction strategies and make sure. Doesn't matter what happens, you do not give up. If she has done it, I have done it. You can do it as well. Just make sure you have the right direction and right push, and you will do it as well. Thank you, guys. I'll see you very soon. Thank you.